What up, world? I'm Cody Hope, musician. My name is Cody, and I'm not having a good day. Yo, my name is label owner and a guy with many creative passions in life. I know that this has been a long time coming to my fellow music obsessed peers, few and far between, but alas, we're here. I set out a long time ago to document my 100 favorite albums. 100 really just being an arbitrary number, but I thought it would be fulfilling to share some of the bands and albums that have played a part in shaping who I am and my taste for life. None of this stuff is ranked or rated in any capacity, rather I'll just be building up a collection of my thoughts on various albums from various genres that are of major importance to me personally. This first episode is going to cover a band that is really special to the area I grew up in, New England, and the music culture that played a tremendous part of my development, being hardcore. This band is The Hope Conspiracy from Boston, Massachusetts. Part of what inspired this is that I was fortunate to see them perform live for the first time in 14 years just the other week, and they released their latest record and did a small run of shows to celebrate. While that record is phenomenal, since I haven't had much time to live with it, that is not the record we'll be discussing today. Instead, the record I want to cover is one that came after the band went on a brief hiatus in 2004, so just to catch everybody up, we'll do a little speed run here. The band had started in late 1999, released a demo, two full lengths, an EP, and a split 7-inch, all before taking said hiatus. Thankfully for all of us, they wrote and constructed one of the most powerful, hair-raising, heart-pounding, emotionally-driven records of all time, Death Knows Your Name, which was released in 2006 via Death Wish Inc., the record label co-founded and owned by Jacob Bannon, vocalist for Converge. Which leads us to another interesting Converge parallel, which is that the album is recorded and produced by Kurt Blue, guitarist of Converge and owner-engineer of renowned Massachusetts recording studio, God City Studios, in Salem, Massachusetts. This is the man behind albums from such notable acts as Cave In, Isis, American Nightmare, Piebald, Ramallah, and of course Converge, among a ton of other revered albums from some of the most impactful bands of heavy music. Death Knows Your Name opens up with the track They Know Not, which feels like the beginning of the last battle of your life. This intense buildup on the guitars instantly raises the hair on my arms and gets my heart beating faster. You know something intense is upon us, but you don't, you don't quite understand the gravity until the vocal and drums join in, truly elevating the chaos and the heart-wrenching sincerity of the words and the instrumentation combined. Sequencing on the album continues brilliantly, making it almost certain that you won't skip any tracks because you've come locked in and engrossed into this cinematic feeling, overwhelming wave of emotion, vulnerability, honesty, truth, and passion over anything. You can feel an unwillingness to relent at any point. With every few bars of each track, you feel this immense necessity to get these messages heard, no matter the cost or the reaction. Coming in at 11 tracks around 35 minutes, this is a ferocious listen that will give you so much substance in the layers of songwriting that you'll feel inclined to return to this record for years to come. I was fortunate to be around the hardcore scene when this album was coming out. I was a junior in high school, and I had some friends that were essentially doing like street team for the record. Somehow I ended up with a bundle of these gorgeous holographic stickers with the album art. I made damn sure these things went everywhere. Now my only regret is that I wish I still had some for myself now. Seldom have I found a record in life with such powerful music, outstanding artwork, and just visual aesthetic to match. The color palettes, the fonts, the imagery, everything just matched the the sound of this record beautifully if you're interested in hearing this album after all of my gushing i highly advise heading over to death wish inc and looking at their hope conspiracy web store there not only will you have access to represses various mediums ancillary art and more for death knows your name but you can also take a chance on their latest body of work the furious and formidable tools of oppression rule by deception Thanks so much for checking out this first episode of My Favorite Albums. 
I'm going to try and get the next one done in a reasonable time so that I can stay consistent with sharing this stuff with you. Do me a favor, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think the next album I might cover will be. I have a list of about 100 albums. I'm going to do my best to make sure that we don't go back to back with the same genre. So I'll try and keep things interesting and keep you guys for a loop. Thank you so much for checking this out. As you guys already know, like, comment, subscribe. That's going to help us get this out to many more people. Until next time, much love, world. Preach.